which NFL teams are making the playoffs, and who's staying home. It's who's in, who's out on 97.3 ESPN-FM, South Jersey's football station. All right, it's Mike and John live at the Golden Nugget in Atlantic City. I'm Mike Gill. He's John McMullen. We are set to do our who's in, who's out. But before we do, John, um, remind people the Golden Gridiron. How many games did you get right this week? Big week, 11 Woo-hoo-hoo. wins. Uh, still not uh, the big winner here at the Golden Nugget, but you can stop on by starting every Tuesday uh, and pick your games even every day. I believe in the sheet of integrity, uh, but you don't have to. Uh, and there's a chance uh, to win a million dollars if you play every week, uh, but up to 5000 each and every week. Yeah, and uh, this week we have... Uh Last week, I mean, we had a lot. We had three games on Thanksgiving, so there was less games on the docket. Yeah, so 11 out of 13, not bad. Not right, good who, enough, though. Let's go to who's in and who's out. And, uh, man, I'm telling you, we got, what, five weeks left in the NFL season, John. And I don't know that we've cleared a lot of things up here. The AFC wild card is an absolute disaster. We'll go with the uh, Patriots first. They're winning the East. There's no question there. Cincinnati in the North. I think we both agree on that. Best team in football, talent-wise. <laughs> uh, let's go to the South. Over the last couple of weeks, we've differed here. I'm not switching. I still like Houston. They've won four in a row. I still think Houston's the better team than Indianapolis. And I still like Indianapolis. I've said it all the time. Until they lose an actual game in the AFC South, I can't go against them. Matt Hasselback, best backup quarterback in football. Interestingly enough, Chuck Pagano had to stem a quarterback controversy and say Andrew Luck is going to have the job when he's ready to come back. All right, here's the situation. I got Kansas City as one of my wild cards. The interesting thing about them, though, John, they're 6-5. and five. They've five won in a row. five in a row. Can I count on them to keep winning? Yes, yes. The Kansas City Chiefs, I've said it, are a good football team. They had that bad, really tough schedule at the beginning of the season. Andy Reid with a steady hand. People in Philadelphia don't want to hear it, uh, but they're in a lot better shape than the Eagles. All right. And they're going to be a wild card team. They, I have them as one of my wild cards. Jets, six and five. Buffalo, five and six. Pittsburgh, six and five. Indy and Texas and Houston are both six and five. Kansas City six and five, and the Raiders are five and six. One of those has to be a second wild card. Who do you got? Still believe in the Pittsburgh Steelers mainly because of Ben Roethlisberger uh, had a potential concussion. He's already cleared though. Actually, wasn't even uh, diagnosed with a concussion. You saw the that. Uh, air game they have against Seattle they can score on anybody Mike Tomlin's just got to make better decisions and the Pittsburgh Steelers will be in the playoffs all right let's go over to the NFC I got Pittsburgh as well as my second wild card team quarterback play is big but that's just a mess over there who is your second wild card team in the AFC text ESPN and your answer to 89,000 let's go to the NFC West where Arizona still comfortable over there in the South, Carolina, still comfortable over Haven't there. Haven't lost in a calendar year, the Carolina Panthers, in the regular season. Last, Obviously lost in the postseason. Last week, I went Minnesota. I stuck with them for one more week, and it paid off because they won, and the Packers lost to the Bears. Yeah, starting to believe in Minnesota a little bit more. Maybe that loss against Green Bay was good for them in the long run. They're so good defensively. They completely, they were up 23 against Atlanta in that passing game until the, you know, garbage time late in the game. Uh, just a tremendous defense. Uh, so I, I have them back on top of the NFC North. Who's winning the East, John? Why not the Washington Redskins? They did it. They beat the New York Giants. They're a fraud. We know the Philadelphia Eagles are a fraud. The Dallas Cowboys are done. Somebody has to win it. It's the Washington Redskins. For the first time all year, I'm going Washington. You and have I, to. I don't feel good about yeah, it. I'm yeah, telling well, you, you can. John. John. When your point differential is 241 to 267, you're not a good football team. John. They're just the best of a bad lot. They're, they play three of their last five games on the road. They're 0-5 in that spot. One that of them is against the Cowboys eight. with no Romo. One of them is against the Eagles. I, 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 and you know what, though? I don't think you can convince me that Washington will sweep Dallas this year, and they're going to have to beat them 
twice in the final five weeks. Well, they're 0-7 without Tony Romo. I think they'll but find a way. they're getting close. They're like the Sixers. They have been close. They're getting close. They have been close. But I think the second injury, you're going to see it break their will. Uh, I think they're going due south. I think they're done. I think they realize that their owner is uh, much like the Sixers GM is a joke. And they're going to give up on the season. That's not fair. Go Skins. <laughs> you know what? I don't know what to say about Washington. They're 0-5 on the road. I mean, even the Eagles are 2-4 on the road. That's a good point. They are 0-5. They haven't won consecutive not, yeah, games right. all year long. Yeah. I, they're a bad team. I'm not. I, they're the best of a bunch of bad teams. It's not. John, it's the first it's team. It's more of a vote against the other three I know. than a vote for Washington. The, uh, to, I'm going to tell you this. To me, it's the first team that wins seven games is winning that. Oof. Oof. Let's go Eagles then. You should go Eagles. I'm going Redskins. I don't know if I can go Redskins. I might have to change them. They're uh, not winning eight games, I don't think. Uh, the Redskins are. I'll tell you what. For whatever reason, people want to dump on Kirk Cousins, uh, and he's by no stretch of the imagination an elite quarterback. But as I said, he gets hot, and he gets streaky, and he can move the football down the field. You saw just Say Jackson, that about Eli Manning. You saw Deshaun Jackson popping the top on the New York Giants. Something the Eagles could certainly use. They have Jordan Reed is one of the better tight ends in this league. They can run the football. They have enough to get by in this horrific division. I Am I talking you into it? No. <laughs> I'm still going to go with them just because I haven't taken them all year. And the other three teams have let me down week in and week well, out. Well, that's it's it. It's only apropos that Washington will let me down because I've been – Totally against them all year long, and I still don't think they're going to the win Giants eight games. The Giants have the opportunity to seize control of that division. The New York tabloids acted like this game was a fait accompli, and the Giants couldn't beat the Redskins. You have to go with the Redskins. All right, uh, let's go to the wild card spots where I don't feel secure with uh, these teams either. You got this is the situation in the wild card race. You've got Green Bay with seven wins, the only team with seven. You've got Seattle at six and five, Tampa at five six, Atlanta at six and five, Chicago at five and six, and New York and Washington both at five and six. Who are they going to be? Well, one's going to be the Packers. They're having a lot of problems, but they still have Aaron Rodgers, and he will will them to a playoff spot. And the other, you got to put Seattle back in the mix. The big winner over Pittsburgh. Obviously, the defense is not the same. They're giving up 30 points at home on regularity now. Uh, it's not the same team, but the Falcons have just, the floor has fallen out. You deserve credit for predicting that. Uh, the Seahawks are back in it, and they're going to be scary for whoever gets them in the first round. I have Green Bay and Seattle as well. The Seahawks schedule down the stretch. They have Cleveland. They've got Baltimore. They've got St. Louis. But they have Even Minnesota this week. Tough. They do have Minnesota this week, but I think if they can get three more wins, nine wins, We'll get you a wild card. And they'll get it. And they'll get it. And they'll be a wild card team. The Bears team is scary. They're, I'll tell you, they're a lot better. Jay Cutler's a lot better than people think he is. Adam Gaze knocks on Jeffrey Lurie's door and says, I want to coach your team next year. Oh, I take it. But Jeffrey Lurie's not going to take it. I love what Adam Gaze has done with, with the Chicago Bears. Uh, unfortunately for Chicago, they play in a difficult division. That's their problem. Well, that's who's in, who's out. John and I have the exact same except for in the south where I have Houston and he's gone Indianapolis.